from a distance, the compound of committee medium prison is full of gloom, perhaps telling of the mood of a majority of the inhabitants. The buildings here are old and tired, and the paint on some is completely faded. To better understand the reforms that have been initiated in the prisons, I decided to walk a mile in the shoes of a prisoner. The compound is dead silent as the officers prepare for the unlock. I got here before dawn and had to take a nap in dormitory number four with my host. At 6 a.m., we rise up and I'm taken through the dormitory constitution by my host and also the prison's head of trustee Buru Sora. Sharia number one, Ujela, condemn. Vita, condemn. Wizi, condemn. Kutoti, Esabu, Namaombi, condemn. Kueka, Marufuku. Before anything else takes place, the inmates must be counted. We are counted while squatting, and this parading technique I learn is repeated severally during the day. After the numbers are confirmed, we head for breakfast. We get a bowl of porridge and bread, and everybody seems contented. <laughs> I suppressed an urge to want to know if this has been their daily breakfast, fearing that I might waken past unwanted memories. In the compound, a huge billboard lays down human rights that every inmate must enjoy. After some chit chat, we have to start working and when the duties are being allocated, we have to squat again. I am assigned a duty in the prison farm under the stewardship of Tom Wangila, another prison trustee. Contrary to my opinion, the inmates are quite cooperative. Their numbers make work look easy. By farming, the prison is assured of sufficient food supply. After some time, the main office orders for some kills and we are sent to fetch some from the prison's kills garden some five kilometers away from the main compound. And here I literally walk in the shoes of a prisoner. In the kills garden, I meet with my equals tending to the skumawiki plants. This is one of the projects of the committee medium prisons where inmates are involved in agricultural practices. This is a case shamba where inmates are working on. Tom Wangila being one of my focus, he's supervising them and he's in charge of this shamba. He will have to share with us what he thinks the prison has helped him and what if he's off this place. <laughs> wakati niliingia chela ilikuwa wakati mkumu sana na hata si kujua kama kazi kama hii inaweza patikana ama inaweza kuwa mahali kama hapa mm, lakini wakati niliingia nikapata gasi ile inafanywa ni kazi kama ya kawaida e, kama ile ya watu wengine kule nje na ni kazi ambayo unaweza kutia piti na ikusaidie kwa maisha yako baadaye hata ukiwa kule Kenya mm. na ulipoingia hapo ulikuwa job kwanda ukulima huu aina hii ah si kwa nachua kupanda ama kulima kwa sababu limekuwa nimekukulia town si kwa kwa mashamba huko ni mashambani mm. lakini sasa vile niliingia hapa na chini ya mwalimu yangu ambaye unamuona sasa akanifundisha hii kazi ndio sasa hizi unaona vile iko hivi sasa mhm mm. wengi udhani ukulima ni kama mateso na ndio afuka watu wengi watatumbilia mijini kupitia prison committee nimekuonyesha ukulima ni kitu gani ukulima ni kitu ya maana sana kwa sababu hata zile chakula tunakula katika ndani ya jera ya prison ni chakula ambayo inatokana na ukulima 
kwa hivyo kulima ni njia moja ya, ya maendeleo kwa mtu ambaye hana ninye, na muna ingine ya kupata kitu kama finance ama nini sasa mpaka afanye nini apitie kwa hiyo kulima ndio kitu rahisi sana ya kuingia ya kimaisha sasa Unaoweza we pass by a floriculture department and its first class agriculture to say the least though the main caretaker here hails from a pastoralist community he has mastered the science of tree grafting and does it effortlessly This is a floriculture and fruits nursery department where one of the inmates is a Maasai who works here and by the way you know Maasai are associated with cows and goats but here we have a Maasai by the name Moses Muriani who works here as an forester kwa hivyo hii sura tiwanga inatumia msid ama nini tiwanga inategemea hatis So Moses hizi ni miti gani sasa eh hii miti inaitwa avocados na ikiwa avocado ndio tuwanga tunatengeneza kama rootstock ya kukuja sasa baadaye ku graft ama pia kuna vile unaweza angalia thickness ya hiyo miti ile iko karibu ku graft hiyo ambapo ile miti tunaangaliaga tunaangaliaga ile kwa size of pen size ya kalamu eh sasa ile size ya kalamu eh na reasons we beyond ku graft mwanga ni ku speed up maturity ya miti pia kuweza kupata good quality of fruit and a good yield na pia resistance to pests and diseases na pia ku adapt climate tukiangalia ukihusisha maisha yenye umeishi nje na maisha hapa ndani unaweza tueleza tofauti gani unahisi sasa ili utofauti uko ni kwamba nimeweza kujua kwamba miti pia inaweza kukuajiri iwapo kama utakuwa na commitment ya kuweza kufanya hii kazi hii ni kazi ambayo inaweza kukulipa kwa maisha yako yote ambapo unaweza kuguni hata familia zako na uweze kuwalea. Na ukiwa jela umefikiria kutoroka ama kutoroka jela hata siku moja. Sijai fikia hiyo kiwango ya kufikiria hivyo. Kwa kuwa sasa niliona ni mzuri nitoke hapa nikiwa na ujuzi. Ikiwa tayari sasa vile kugraftiwa ni ile ambayo imeanza kutoa hiyo tumacho. Alafu tuna kata once alafu tena ikata tena hii pande hii tena kata katikati ukishakata katikati unakuja unaweka hiyo miti yako juu yake maana sasa ukishaweka hivyo unahakikisha hii back yake na hii back nyingine zimeweza kukutana tunakuja tunafunga tunafunga kama tunapanda juu na fundisha hii ikiwa ni njia moja sasa ya kuinvolve hii mambo na kufunga hii bado utakuwa unapea maji lakini sasa baada ya sasa ku graft wanga tunaiweka kwa kivuli kwa sheets Tom Wangila is also a seasoned mechanic thanks to his life behind bars Far from agriculture Wangila also has featured in mechanic and now he's working on a tractor that should be working now at the shamba Shida hii gari haina shida mingi petu ndio ilikuwa mbaya baada ya petu ilikuwa mbaya alafu ikakuja ikafanya nini na hii sekreta yake Here they have also learned how to make soap. During a soap making session, Borusora takes some time to explain to us how the prison has changed since when he was jailed 11 years ago. jela nitakuwa nikimaliza miaka kumi na moja na mwezi nne. Kwa hii miaka yote hii jela imekuwa kaa nini kwa? Eh hii jela wakati nimeingia ilikuwa ni kama mimi nimetolewa mahali na nimetupwa mahali hakuna watu. Lakini niliona wakati niliona nimefungwa hiyo miaka niliona nimetengwa na na watu. Na nikawa sasa nimekuwa na mawazo nikiwa remand mpaka hii ugonjwa ya alsa zikanipa kanipata. Nisijui kama uliona vile mtu anaharasiwa kutoka kwa mfungo mpaka kwa serikali. Ai, nasema kwani nimeletwa kwa balaa tena. Sasa mimi nikaenda nikiwa ninafanya kazi kwa sababu mimi ni mtu ya kupenda kazi. Miaka ya tatu sasa serikali ikaona huyu mtu ni mtu ya kazi kwa sababu production ile ninapewa naweza toa hata hizi majango jacket sita saba kwa mchana na hizi naweza toa pia tatu kwa mchana mo, kwa mchana moja wakaona sasa wewe ndio charge wakati niliambia wewe ni charge 
chaji ni mtu ameaminika na ni mtu mkubwa anaongelesha ile maneno aweze ambia mpungua ingine anaweza muambia nikawa nime nimetuli nimetulia nikaona yenyewe kama mtu mtu ya kazi kumbe hata serikali inakuwa rafiki na na serikali wakati hiyo si asahi kwa sababu wakati ya zamani askari hajasoma mfungo hajasoma so hiyo ni mnyama mbili imekutana kwa sababu hata training ile askari anasomeshwa huko anaambiwa tuungana na huyu mtu akijaribu tu kutoa kichwa gonga eh lakini saa hii ni kusomeshwa watu wanaerevushwa lakini ile kitu sasa ninasema jela ni mahali ya kurekebisha na haki It is time to prove that too much work without play makes Jack a dull boy. We start with the game of soccer. They can play football really. Yeah. Later we join the dance team for an afternoon sakata. At about 4 p.m., we gather for a Kamkunji. Here, the inmates have an opportunity to air their grievances and get immediate responses from the officer in charge, Madam Olivia Obel. <laughs> This form of interaction was not a norm in the past. It is a clear indicator that when the wave of change blew in the correctional facility, that of communication was also harnessed as well. Sasa pale kuna officer mmoja anaitwa Ten Soldiers. Mimi na kuanga mgonjwa. Umekaba pale unaenda hospitali. Yeye hataki kujua kama wewe ni mgonjwa. Rungu rungu rungu. Siko sheria ambayo inafuatwa wakati we ni mgonjwa. Sasa hiyo sheria wewe una report kwa nani na kwa nani? Na report kwanza kwa trustee. After making our plight known, we break for dinner, and although we have the evening meal in the open, it couldn't be any better than to have the evening meal as we watch the sun go down. Gone are days when a prison was seen as a place of torture and humiliation, but through my experience with Benson, Tom Wangila and Buru Sora, it is a place of character innovation and improvement of personality, in other words, it is a school. Manuya Kevin, GBS.